It's the night before we get on the plane and go to Morocco. Actually, I take it back. It's not the night before. It's actually the day off because it's midnight. But we've gotten so good at packing because look. I mean, granted, the time is not the best, but we've got everything right there ready for the morning, except a few things that will go in the backpack, but that's nothing. But how you feel? We're getting so better because we, we kind of move smooth, mm -hmm. put everything in its designated sec, um, mm -hmm. placement. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, a little bit better. It's not taking us the whole night to do it. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, on that case, this one likes to stay up late with us, which we're going to have to get a hang of that. She needs to start going to bed early because she's always staying. If we stay up, she's staying up too. Pretty much. We were supposed to leave at 7. It's pretty much 9. And the flight is at 11.40. And we booked the flight last night. Let's just hope everything goes well. At least it's not too much we got. Goodbye, Morocco. Goodbye, Marrakesh. Okay. We don't have a lot of time left. And we just hope some of the fun that they're going to be asking for goes soon. That's the best thing I can say, right? We were worried about some paperwork. And then all of a sudden, thinking we had to do like a health form or something like that. But we did not. But they got us on something on our baggage. Our baggage, they charged us $170 or somewhere there. $1,737 Durham, which I need to translate how much it is for us, but around 170 ish And Dre and they confiscated our drone. So I have to go now find Dre in customs because me and Dre got split up. So now I gotta try to find customs and find Dre. And hopefully we can still keep our drone. I don't even know where customs is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. At least we got all our stuff though. But they pretty much said the reason we got, because the person next to us, they were getting charged only 45 euros for their bag. And I asked them why. And he said because they're not going to Dhaka. Pretty much if you go to Dhaka, Brazil or Argentina and whatever chosen country they choose, they decide to charge you extra for baggage. But if you're not, they only charge you 45 euros, which is roughly around like 400 something dorms. To be honest, it's, anyway, let me go try to find Dre. Oh, and if you didn't know, I'm left with the baby and the baggage. It was fine. I found out he's over here at the service access. That's where customs is. Hopefully it's not bad news. But what a fun travel day. We lost the drone. They took it. They said we gotta go send an email out, then come back in like three four months to pay 150 dollars and then we can possibly get it back we won't be back here in three four months ever again <sighs> we just know that we lost the drone we should we, i guess we should have looked but with all these new procedures nowadays that one got it fell to the back burner and how can i say this it's agitating. It's frustrating. But I guess the best thing I can say is what? At least the way I'm looking at it is. I don't even know what to say right now. You know? I, I'm just saying how I look at it right now. Like, I'm, I'm pissed off. I mean, I'm upset. I'm just trying but to. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's their rules. It's just what it is. I just wish we would have knew, knew about their rules before we came over here. So. Well, either way, we 
minute you all get in time, I'm gonna try my best not to look at it in a negative way. And I'm like, you know what? Blessings will come in other ways. We have nine hours to go in total to make it to our final destination. Hopefully the rest goes smoothly. I said, how you feel now? I feel okay. Just trying to get to be away from people. We got this little corner to ourselves. You know, trying to get to get my composure together after all the uh, mess in Morocco. And um, yeah, sit here, have a few sandwiches, have a cold beer, and kind of relax for a little bit until we get back on the next, no, on the next flight. Yeah. So, I guess the next thing I'm a little worried about right now is uh, us getting in kind of late and, and, and hoping that we're going to have transportation to um, our room. I don't want nobody trying to charge us $100 to take us there. Oh, yeah, because that's what our Senegalese driver had told so us. It was pretty much $100. $100 you like. <laughs> trying to jip people off. No. having a shot come on over in, or a shot in the kitty section this is not a shot by the way no this he's trying to get us out of there but this shots. is a shot for losing the drone and still well, we didn't lose it they took it from okay us. one more time this is a shot from our drone being taken and we're still choosing to have a great at, great time as a traveler <laughs> <laughs> i'm watching you i know mine going down what you doing i don't know how to do this I'm not an alcohol person anymore. Not anymore. Why are you ask for it then? <laughs> you ask for it. No, because I know what we've been through. And I was like, you know what? Just because of what we've been through, I can do a little bit. I'm not going to take anywhere. What was that? You just put it on your lips? <laughs> you don't like it, don't drink it. You know? I'm not. That's it. I don't know why you asked for it though. Oh. This is what I like. Why don't you, you could put some of your orange juice time. in it? As I demonstrated last time, I'll stick to the hot chocolate. <sighs> No, go inside, go to the baggage, go to the baggage, you'll find the stroller there. Now, we're getting worried. We can't lose that either. So, we'll find it. We found it. We found the stroller. And then we're chasing. Oh my God. I don't know what the hell's going on. just made a Senegal and it was legitimately like a chase to get these people to they were trying to have a, the driver to stop so we could get out the car and everything it was a money dispute and it was legitimately a chase and we have more B like this is turned into the most stressful worst travel day we've ever had right oh my god what time is it too? Huh? It's 10.46 at night. Okay, hi 
night, we realized we never wrapped up. What happened on that travel day? So all in all, one, we were charged $170 for baggage. Ugh, crazy. Uh, drone was confiscated. Then um, with the taxi drivers, pretty much the taxi driver was trying to be stopped by another taxi driver because I guess we were supposed to go in his car or I don't know, they were fighting over which taxi we should be in. And so they were kind of chasing each other on the, it's kind of hard to explain this. Chasing each other, he was, they, trying, he was trying to stop him to get. Go ahead and say it. In short, the taxi driver <laughs> was being stopped by another taxi driver on a freeway. In the midst of everything, we didn't really know what was going on. All types of stuff was running through my head in the process of what could possibly be going on, but that's a day I could never forget. So pretty much, that's why you ended up seeing me taping outside. We ended up telling the guy, you gotta stop. We got outside, we were gonna walk to the airport back because we weren't that far but eventually we're like we have an hour drive to our spot so we just got back in and we went mm -hmm. but um we ended up we realized one of the things was we were having a really really hard way communicating with him because he wasn't speaking french to us he was speaking wall off and we didn't know he was speaking wall off so thank god the airbnb gave us his number so he was able to communicate with the driver on how to get us here and then Whenever we arrived, the Airbnb guy told us that the driver had told him to tell us that, oh my goodness, I hope you guys know um, I'm not a bad guy or anything. And I just think it was just an unfortunate thing that happened, but I feel like maybe that doesn't happen all the time. So I don't want to just make it seem like that's what happens every time. It's just, it just happened to happen to us. But I mean, he was nice the rest of the way. No problems after. Okay, well, we realized we never closed out the video from our travel day but <laughs> a lot ended up happening a lot Ooh, stay true to that fire in your heart and your soul